ClickBank Marketing Overview. I selected these marketing techniques since you can do them manually or you can hire virtual assistants to help you. They are free and they can be scaled up. Those are the selection criteria I use to filter these options out of the hundreds of free traffic generation options currently available on the internet. In my experience, these options work best with ClickBank products when they are sold through the three-layer content conversion system I described in video two. This video gives you an overview of each marketing method, and I will describe these marketing secrets in full detail in the videos dedicated to them. In this overview, I just want to give you a good understanding of what these marketing methods are, how they work, as well as their advantages and disadvantages. Quora Answer Marketing Quora.com is one of the Internet's largest websites. It is a question and answer website that gets a ton of traffic. People from all over the world ask and answer questions. It is a thriving community and a lot of answers actually get a lot of views. How Quora Marketing Works You find a question that's related to your niche. How do you do this? You can use targeted niche keywords or you can simply click through Quora and look at their related questions. Regardless of how you find a question, the question must be directly or closely related enough to the problem solved by the product you are promoting. Once you find a collection of these types of questions, you can then post a unique answer to each of them. Your answer must relate directly to the question. You're not dodging the question. You're not just dropping a link. You're not spamming. Instead, you have to answer the question directly. Otherwise, you will get banned. Once you've done that, you then find a way to massage in a mention of your level one or level two content. It all depends on the question. That's all you need to do for Quora marketing. It's all about finding the right question and then crafting an answer that not only answers the question directly, but also uses your marketing content as a resource. If people like your response, they click on the source link and they end up on your website. If they click through one or a couple more pages, they end up on your product comparison page. If they like what they see, they can then click to buy the product. Advantages. The main advantage of Quora is that it attracts a tremendous amount of traffic. You'd be surprised as to how many views your answers could get. Also, the more you answer, the more aggregate views you can rack up. Sure, each answer might not get that many views, but if you post a ton of answers on Quora, those views do add up. Most importantly, once you post an answer on Quora and it doesn't get taken down, you can potentially get traffic from the answers you have written a long time ago for a long, long time. Another key advantage of Quora is that it covers a lot of niches. Unlike niche-specific forums that have a fairly narrow niche coverage or Facebook groups and pages that are restricted to a certain range of niches, Quora doesn't really have any limits as far as topics are concerned. As long as people ask a question regarding your niche, you can post an answer. The best part to all of this is that even if nobody asks questions regarding your niche, this shouldn't stop you. Why? You can hire a virtual assistant from places like congoplus.com to post niche-related questions for you. You then look them up and answer in a non-spammy way with your three-layer content system. Disadvantages While it's true that your answers can drive quite a bit of traffic, they have to be visible. In other words, they have to be near the top of the set of answers Quora displays when people look up the questions you answered. How does Quora determine the order of answers it shows per question? Quora usually considers the number of upvotes your answer got in determining whether it's going to display your answer higher up on the page. Another disadvantage to Quora is the fact that the traffic that you actually get from this platform depends largely on the quality of your answers. This is not a simple case of just dropping a link at the right place and then sitting back and watching all that traffic come in. It doesn't work that way. You actually have to answer people's questions and you have to give them enough of a reason to click on your three-layer content link as a resource. There's a little bit of salesmanship involved here. Your answer has to draw them into your link. Your answer has to create some sort of urgency of the mind of the reader to make them want to click on your resource link to end up on your website. Finally, please understand that you cannot post a link to any part of your three-layer content conversion system every time you answer. If you do that, I'm sorry to say it, but you are spamming. You really are. The truth is, only a certain percentage of your answers can be promotional in nature. If you promote too much, you might get banned. Post comments on blog posts that use the Facebook comment plugin. Generally speaking, WordPress blogs have their own built-in WordPress commenting system. However, some bloggers prefer the Facebook comment plugin. How come? When you use this plugin, people can only comment on your post if they are logged into Facebook and they comment as themselves or their page. This adds a social element to your blog's comment section. Also, when people comment using their Facebook accounts, they have the option of showing their comment along with a link to your post on their Facebook wall. 
This has the potential of bringing more traffic to your website. This is why a significant percentage of bloggers use Facebook's comment plugin system instead of the default comment system WordPress comes with. How does this system work? First, you need to search search engines using your target keywords along with a search string like Facebook comments plugin. This search string produces a list of blog posts that use Facebook's comment plugin and are targeted towards your niche. You then filter the results to determine whether these posts actually talk about your niche. Once you're sure, you can then post a comment and answer whatever questions people raise and then quote certain parts from your level one content and use a shortened link to link to your level one content as a source or resource. Advantages. The most obvious advantage of this traffic generation technique to promote ClickBank products is that you get highly targeted traffic. Let's put it this way. Somebody's not going to bother to read the comments of a blog post unless they are truly interested in your niche or a problem related to your niche. Second, they're not going to click on your resource or source link if they are not, at some level or another, curious about the solution you're talking about or are impressed with your answer. Finally, when you promote this way, you get a sticky or permanent source of traffic. It may not be much, but it's highly targeted and it's not going to go away anytime soon. As long as the blog that you commented on stays in business, people can see your link when they look at certain niche targeted posts. Disadvantages. The most obvious disadvantage to this form of ClickBank marketing is that you can't expect much traffic. Admittedly, this is low volume traffic. The good news is that this is highly targeted traffic. As I have explained above, people who click through are not curiosity seekers. These are people who actually have problems and are looking for solutions. These are solutions that fall within your niche. Also, a key downside to this approach is that you're not just dropping links and getting traffic. People are not going to click because they have nothing else better to do. Usually, they would only click if they like the quality of your answers. This is a serious problem. Why? You can't copy and paste the same stock answer. Each answer must be high quality and must address the needs of people reading the blog post. Forum marketing. Forum marketing involves finding online message boards that talk about topics related to your niche. You engage with other forum members. Maybe you're asking questions. Perhaps you're answering questions. Whatever the case may be, you interact with people who are interested in your niche. You have to go find forums that are either directly related to your niche or have a sub forum that is directly related. Similarly, you can market on forums that are directly or indirectly related to your niche. How forum marketing works. Basically, you create an account that looks like a real forum member's account. You discuss issues related to your niche for quite some time. You don't drop a link. After a while, you should become credible because you have demonstrated that you know what you're talking about. At this point, you can share third-party content. This is high-quality content published by your competitors or non-competitors that are authoritative in your niche. When you do this, you become an even bigger expert. People start to look at you as an authority. Once you have established a high enough level of credibility, then you start responding to existing discussions with a link as well as content commentary regarding your layer one or level one content. Eventually, you should be able to have enough cloud on the forums you're marketing to start discussions that directly talk about your own resources. Advantages. The big advantage of forum marketing is that you get really highly targeted traffic. These are people who are already talking about the problems that the affiliate products you're promoting solve. You are interacting with people who are directly interested in the solutions that you are promoting. Disadvantages. Generally speaking, forum traffic tends to produce low volume traffic. At best, you can get a moderate level of traffic from these platforms. The good news is that by this is offset the fact that you're getting higher quality traffic. These are people who are actually interested in your niche. If you set up your posts correctly, even if you get a fairly low number of people clicking on your link, they are more likely to convert. That's right, they are more likely to buy whatever ClickBank affiliate product you are promoting. Another drawback to forum marketing is the fact that people will only click through if they think your answers are credible enough. It can take some time to build a good level of credibility and authority on forums. In fact, a lot of forum marketers never get to that point. Finally, many forum members are very sensitive to spam. Even if you share the very best third-party content, these people might be skeptical of you. In fact, they might get so suspicious that they petition or pressure the forum administrator to ban you. It all depends on the specific community you are marketing to. This is why it's a good idea to work on building your credibility and authority. 
Once you've gotten that out of the way, then you have a lot more leeway in sharing links. Automated Twitter Marketing Automated Twitter marketing boils down to scheduling a lot of posts on Twitter using content posting software. At the same time, you're going to be tracking competitors' account and following people who follow them. The key here is to follow people who are truly interested in your niche. When you are sharing content, you're going to be using targeted hashtags. These are hashtags that are directly related to your niche. How it works. Your first step is to find the very best content currently available on social platforms related to your niche. You then feed this into software that publishes automatically round the clock on your Twitter feed. You set the times when the post will appear. You must also make sure that the content that you're automatically publishing are linked to hashtags that are directly related to your niche. The key here is to rotate the third-party content with your level 1, level 2, and level 3 content. This way, when followers that you have managed to attract throughout your time on Twitter like your level 1 content, they can click through and convert on website. Also, people who are exposed to your content, thanks to your hashtag targeting, can like your third-party content so much that they follow you. Of course, you're not just going to let the system run on autopilot. You're also going to manually follow accounts that follow your competitors. Advantages. Depending on how you set things up, this can be a mostly automated and passive form of marketing. Another advantage to this technique is that you get to target your niche precisely using hashtags that you reverse engineered from your competitors. Disadvantages. The big disadvantage to this method is that traffic can vary quite a bit. Sometimes you get a lot of traffic, sometimes you don't. It all depends on the traffic flow on Twitter. Also, the amount of followers you attract depend on the quality of your curated content. If you're sloppy with this type of content, you're not going to get too many followers. Another disadvantage is that you are going to be following your competitors' followers. In other words, you're not going to be targeting people who are complete virgins to your niche. This is a good thing because these people are already interested in your niche. The downside is they are already aware of your competitors, so they're going to hold you up to a certain standard. You must meet that standard, otherwise you're not going to convert. Automated Facebook Marketing this technique enables you to build the following through curated third-party content that you post automatically on your Facebook page. You simply set up software to keep publishing this third-party, high-quality, niche-specific content on your page. This establishes you as some sort of authority in your niche. Once you have posted a tremendous amount on your page and it looks fully developed, you then republish some of your page posts on Facebook groups that are related to your niche. If you do this enough times and you don't get banned, you build an organic following. When people see your page's content on their groups and they like what they see, they might like your page and start getting your updates. How this method works. You start out with curated, niche-related material. These are top performers in terms of engagement. This is very important. Not only should the content produced by competitors or whoever else be directly related to your niche, they must also have high levels of engagement. In other words, this is tried and proven content. This is content that is already viral in your niche on Facebook. You then take this content and mix it in with your level 1, level 2, and level 3 content. These materials are published in sequence using software on your Facebook page. You syndicate the content that you publish on your page to niche-related groups to get more people to like your page. This is how you build the organic following of your page. An alternative to this is to build a group and add active posters that you find in niche groups and the niche pages you monitor. Advantages Just like the automated Twitter method I described above, this can be almost completely automated, and it's a fairly passive way of generating traffic. Disadvantages Traffic can be very erratic. On some days, you can get quite a bit of traffic because you shared really high-quality content. On other days, people might not be all that responsive. Also, you have to syndicate your Facebook page links to other groups. This can be a problem. Some groups are very welcoming of page posts. Others are very suspicious. Don't be surprised if you get banned from some groups. However, you should start to worry if almost all the groups that you joined almost automatically ban you the moment you join. You know you're doing something wrong there. Just like with forum marketing, the way to get around this is to engage first and establish some sort of credibility before you can start sharing your own page's links. Shortcut. Pumping traffic using the methods above can take up a lot of your time. You have to know what you're doing. The good news is, there's a shortcut. You can hire a virtual assistant from places like congoplus.com which features freelance virtual assistants who would work for the very affordable rate of $30 per 8-hour day. The best part is they will work on a quota. So you agree to a quota for a full day's worth of production, and if they meet that quota, you pay them the $30.
You can also try getting virtual assistance from Fiverr.com or Freelancer.com. I use virtual assistants not only to find my keywords, but also to help me find content, which I can then instruct them to feed into my software so I can automatically publish on Twitter and Facebook. If you pay your virtual assistant a premium, you can also get them to market on Quora for you. Of course, you have to train them and guide them so they can produce the quality that you're looking for.